All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to MLAB and have some fun. Um, our objective today is essentially to show a couple simple things in MLAB, just to sort of give you a flavor of what MLAB can do. So um, we'll start with something really simple. We'll define a very simple function, uh, f. Um, and this function f will take two arguments um, and it will do something with them. Let's say that it uh, multiplies the two arguments. Pretty straightforward stuff. Um, let's see what f is. It's a function and it multiplies two arguments. So let's see if that works. 2.2, 4. Then 6. Yep. All right, seems to work well. So um, let's see if we can use that function f for something. Uh, let's make another function, g. And let's say that g takes uh, one, two, three arguments. And let's make g a function of f. So how about this times z? So let's see what that does. g. Very nice, and f is still intact, yep. So let's see how that works. g2, comma, 2, comma, 2, 8. Well, that's pretty good. 1, comma, 2, comma, 3. Yep, works brilliantly. Hmm, alrighty. Let's, uh, let's try to make a simple function then that, uh, I don't know, that you know, that we can draw a graph from, you know, something really simple, but, but nice. Maybe it's some sort of a swinging function. So um, let's create a new F. Um, what should we do? Uh, there's so many choices. Um, let's say something that has a little bit of swing in it. Um, maybe something like this um, and to control ourselves a little bit here we use an exponential function and uh, that should be good yep let's see what that did sorry oh yep that looks good um i guess we need some initial values so let's set a to one b to Four and I guess k to uh, half. There you go. Um, so we want to run this, and we want to make this into a plot. That uh, means that we have to have a series of values to run through x. So let's define those. So let's make a vector uh, from one to ten in steps of uh, I don't know. 0 0.1, uh, let's see what that does. Oh, lots of data, nice little vector. So now we have a vector and I guess we can apply that to make a matrix um, using the function f and the vector v we just created like that. Uh, let's see what that did. Oh, lots of data. Uh, let, um, let's see what that looks like. I mean, we clearly created something, so let's see what, what that actually is. Ah, there it is. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A simple little MLAT function that generated a pretty little graph. That's it for today. Enjoy.